Hello, YouTube family. See, <laughs> the button caught me by surprise. <laughs> Hi, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger. It's not cute not knowing, and we are going to know as we start this weekend. Come on. How you guys doing? The side chicks are coming to court. Dr. Dre's divorce is getting messier and messier and messier. His wife ain't playing. He's like, you got to buy by the prenup. She thought he tore it up. Billions of dollars are at stake. He had called the cops on her a couple of weeks ago for embezzlement. And now she is bringing his alleged mistresses into court. There are three of them. One is a singer. One is known as the queen of Latin hip hop. And another is a model. Are they stunners? Brilliantly gorgeous. I was like, ooh. They're not the they're not they're, they're not real attractive. They're not you, you know you see someone and they're stunning and you're like they're stunning. Not these girls. They're mad. They're very angry that they're being hauled into court for this. They've got a lawyer up. Nicole ain't playing. She wants her money. She's spilling a lot of stuff. Iyala Van Zand. This weekend it's a new season of Fix My Life. It's the seventh season, and it's going to be her last. Y'all, Yamla says this is it. She's not going to be doing the show after this season in a very surprising mood, move because I wonder, will she leave the own network? This is going to be interesting. But final season, she said it's going to be jam-packed with family drama, including, and Lunell, you ain't tell me this. Lunell, the actress, comedian, she's going to be in Coming to America, too. Her family is going to be featured on Iyanla's Fix My Life, but this is the final season. Lori Lachlan, I'm Becky, Full House. She got caught up in that college scandal with her husband, making moves, paying money to get their daughters into school. She denied it. Or she and her husband, they denied it. They stared people down. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. We're not guilty. Both she and her husband cut a plea deal. Now, she's going to do her prison stint first. She got two months. Why? She's not going to do. Because Felicity Huffman, who was also caught up in it, she only did 11 days. But Lori Lachlan, they're saying, has reported to prison to start a two-month sentence. The prison is near her home. She ain't going to do two months. Once she does what she has to do, the husband, he goes in. But that college scam, Lori Lachlan has showed up. Netflix, they're going up on prices. They say the basic is going to stay $8, but if you get premium, you're going to pay $18. There's another mid-level package. You're going to have to pay $14 per month. But Netflix raising prices on their streaming channel. And also this weekend, y'all, they got a lot of shows from Comedy Central. Dave Chappelle, Reno 911, Inside Amy Schumer, Key and Peele. All these shows are coming from Comedy Central to Netflix. But starting immediately, Netflix is raising their prices. Drip 2 is here. We're talking about Beyonce's collaboration, Ivy Park and Adidas for that athleisure wear line, for the sneakers, for the accessories. It is here and she is promoting this. She posed for the British cover of Vogue magazine and my gosh, Beyonce's been stunning in this whole thing, but she's doing British Vogue. She's got Ivy Park, and she is promoting this, but the line has dropped now. Real Housewives of Atlanta, there is a new promo that's out. It seems like it's going to be wild. There is no NeNe leaks. One of the newcomers already wants to leave. She doesn't like how she's being portrayed, and then Bravo is like, you signed, you, you signed a piece of paper that said, 
we could do your image however we want. She not only wants to leave, she wants to sue Bravo. They're like, just go on and, 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 just, and just be on the show. But this new season of The Real Housewives, no Nene leaks. You're going to see a lot of drama and strippers and threesomes. They're doing all these things so that you don't miss Nene leaks. But the trailer came out and one of the girls already wants to leave. Wait. Has anyone out there done Ancestry.com? It's something I want to do, but I've heard so many things about it. Cory Booker and RuPaul are cousins. Don't think of Ru with the hair and the makeup. They both got the bald heads. And guess what? A side by side, they look alike. They look like they could be cousins. And RuPaul and Cory Booker are cousins. Were rappers paid millions of dollars to endorse Trump? I personally do not look for somebody who's drinking that damn lean as my leader or as influencer. It's a tricky time. We cannot be fooled and we darn sure can't be swayed by people who don't know the history of voting. People who only care about their money, only care about the women that they're sleeping with, and their own interest, not yours. This is interesting. It's going to get more interesting as the days go on. Ralph Tresvant, new edition. He's going to be the subject of a docuseries on the UMC streaming service. I know, another streaming service. This one... You got to get it through Amazon Prime. I had my son teaching me how to do it. I'm going to have a chance to talk with Ralph Tresvant next week. He's been in the music business 40 years. He's got a new project out that Johnny Gill produced. Do you ever think New Edition will get back together? Why can't these guys get it together? After the BET miniseries, they could have made so much money, so much money left on the table because people can't get along and the wealth is not shared right. Ralph and Johnny own the rights to New Edition and I don't blame them. I especially don't blame Johnny who has lost so much money messing around with the group. He was a smart businessman. He made sure he got the name. He said, oh no, Y'all ain't going to go out here and pick up other people and say y'all new edition. Nope. This is what you're not going to do. I own the name, the new edition. I think it is a smart business move. People have criticized Johnny Gill. He ain't even original member. Look, that was a smart business move. So other people could stand up there and act like they me? Hmm, not today. He and Ralph own the name. There are so many questions. <laughs> That I, that I want to ask him, but they're setting it up so I can talk to him. So if there's a question that you think I should ask Ralph Tresvant about, leave it in the comments because I'm doing uh, two separate interviews. We're going to be doing an IG on my Instagram, WDAS Patty. I'll be telling you guys to go there and um, like the page and all that stuff. But I'm going to have a chance to talk with him. And I want to share that same interview on this platform here. So you'll get a chance to see it. There's a question that you think I should be asking Ralph Tresvant. I want to know why these guys just, just, just can't get it together. New edition. One of the greatest groups in my era. Um, leave your comments. There's a weekend section that goes up, everybody, and it's fancy. It has pictures. It's blitz and blitz and blitz. LaShawna Simon does it. Please check out the weekend edition. It's not cute not knowing. Subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. If you leave a comment, you know that I saw it. If I gave you a heart, like the channel hit that like button. I'm so glad that we have this chance to just come together and, and you want to know it's real in and out. There's no long intros. There's nothing like that. I may screw up a name or a country. 
or something like that, but you do know that you are going to know what's going on. And I appreciate you guys so much. Dex and Toya, yes, they miss you. No, they're not in my building anymore. They work from home. Uh, they miss you guys. Dex is not married yet. I will keep giving you updates <laughs> of what's going on. My Instagram is WDAS Patty. You can find me on the gram, as the kids say, and you can hit the like, but there's lots of information there. Of course, there is lots of information right here. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.